Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Hey, down here, the, the short guy. <laughs> I figure I'd say hello to y'all again. How y'all doing? Hope y'all having a blessed day today. Uh, we do have updates, we do have issues, so let me get through it quick so y'all can see everything that's going on. Now, in the red, as you can see, Nicaragua, you're in a hurricane warning. Uh, in the blue for Honduras, you're in a tropical storm warning. And also at the end of it on the west side, you're on tropical storm watch as well. Now here's the, the forecast. It's a forecasted to hit as a major hurricane at 7 a.m. on Tuesday. But then it's going to downgrade immediately from a hurricane down to a, a tropical storm so far. Now here's your probability of tropical storm force winds. And you can see the 100% probability in the purple. That's where the most damaging is going to be uh, from this storm. And it's also going to be a lot of flooding as well. Now here's the, the latest tracks that I have for you guys and the latest information that the GEPS is showing that there is going to be a problem in the Gulf. The GEFS is showing that something goes towards the, the Cuba and it will turn. Now the nav gem, which is accurate and some people have been talking about it in the comments, uh, it's, it's showing that it go over Bahamas and hopefully be a fish storm. That would be really, really awesome. Now also, here you go here. Now this is your up to your euro. This is your cyclone locations for the whole the whole globe, and as you can see right here in the Caribbean, it is forecasted to be 950 millibars or less. And it's not just that one. This is the Korean cyclone locations for the whole globe, and it's showing that it's going to turn just like you just saw, and it's going to go through the Gulf and do a eastern push, which I am showing that the cold front coming. Uh, it will knock it east early, so that's a good thing for Louisiana. But it's shown that it's also going to be 950 millibar hurricane going towards Florida. Now here's a look at it right now. Let's get a refresh on the page. This is exactly where it's at and where it's headed. Uh, let me give you a better look right here. This is a way better one. And you can see the eye is starting to close up a little bit. So either the eye is either forming a new eye or it is actually losing its, its uh, velocity and it's going to go down to a Cat 1 hurricane, which it looks like it's starting to do. Uh, it still has a lot of lightning. It still has a lot of buildup in it, but you can see it downgrading quickly. So I'm, I'm hoping that that's going to be a Cat 1 hurricane. That's what we've been seeing was a, a strong tropical storm to low-end Cat, Cat 1 hurricane. Now let me get you to the impacts that you have for Nicaragua and Honduras and then I'll get on with the tracks of the update guys and I will be quick with this one. Now this one is your European, your one hour precipitation of what you're going to get and as I go all the way to the end of it for the 90 hours, this is a 90 hour track, you can see the max is 764 uh, millimeters. Now when I punch that in, that's 30 inches of rain. That's for the brightest purple in the spots that you see, like over here towards Guatemala. You can also see a spot on eastern uh, Nicaragua and western Honduras also. But the heaviest one is 30 inches. Y'all, that's two and a half feet of rain within 90 hours. I, I just wanted to point that out real quick. Now, according to the GFS, uh, the total accumulation that you're going to get all the way for the full five days is 661 meters. So that's showing that it is 26 inches for the heaviest part, which shows western uh, Honduras, also the coast of Guatemala and the edge of southern Belize. And that is 26 inches. That's, that's over two feet still. So no matter what, we're talking two feet of rainfall for this area, for this impact. Now this is what it looks like. I'm going by the euro for you, by the hour, so you can see. And it looks so far that it's going to be on Tuesday for sure. And as it goes west towards Honduras, it weakens significantly, except for the rain. And the winds are still going to be there, at least tropical storm winds. And it's just not, it's not going to make the return back. Yesterday it showed a return back. It's not showing it today. Now let me show you some information as far as what's going to happen as impacts towards the states. Uh, Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Cuba edge of Yucatan. This is your Euro at 120 hours. This is the beginning of the five days. I got it on deep layer wind shear. That way you can see exactly what goes on with this storm. I'm showing that the wind shear will block it, 
make it move east and then the big ridge that I've been showing you in the videos uh, lately I'm showing it that that big ridge plays a big part and it actually closes up a little early and pushes it away from Louisiana but at the same time it's what pulls it up into the Gulf now here's the run of the uh, the deep layer wind shear and you can see the storm down here it's a tropical storm at this point 999 millibars and here's the right before the ridge this is what blocks it right here it blocks it all the way over and then it sees the opportunity to come back and get power and it heads north you know that's the last shot we got I'm still showing that we have a problem with a 923 millibar guys now as far as the GFS uh, version 16 parallel I wanted to show you this one because this is the only one that's showing something different this showing that not only the path of the Korean is true that occurs towards Florida but it also shows uh, that it will do a double impact uh, also in the Florida panhandle now this is the only one that shows that it actually goes straight through Cuba and it don't waste time it shows it comes through nice and weak and this is five days starting five days instead of sitting there intensifying like the euro has been showing this is the only one that shows that it'll go, a different option it goes through it hits uh, southern Florida as a tropical storm it gains energy it looks like it does a Fujiwara effect with another low pressure all around Florida and then it goes again as a hurricane for the Florida panhandle and there's the 10 days now as far as the euro shows this is your five days look right here and as we go in through the intensity it goes past Jamaica It's really intensified 968 millibars 961 so we got to be careful Jamaica there's going to be a lot of storm surge a lot of waves and we got to do more investigation on the impacts of this this is all new information now they only gave me to 234 hours on this and that goes down to 935 they wouldn't give me that last clip and that's the one I showed you that it showed that it still has 923 potential. You got to look in certain areas. So what I did is I looked in the Gulf. And in, in the Gulf, I showed that the same information is from, from the Euro. As it goes past the Cayman Islands, very strong hurricane, 953 millibars. And this is where I'm showing the most precipitation is going to be, the heaviest Cayman Islands. You need to pay attention for flooding on this one, seriously. Now there's the 234, and that's the two... Uh, to 234 hour and it won't give it me anymore but uh, if I go and take a look through Cuba I can get to 240 we can see what the real intensity of the, this update is and as it comes through and you see it goes towards Jamaica and you're gonna be getting like I said Jamaica is gonna be spinning you can be getting a storm surge you can be getting the winds you can be getting the waves and this is on Tuesday the 10th now, as it passes by, gets down to 9, uh, 939 over the Cayman Islands, 935, and the one we couldn't see is right there, 930. It steadily intensifies as it goes. I'm, I'm expecting it to intensify even more, at least till it gets to the west side of Cuba. Now, here's your precipitable water for the same pattern that we just seen, so you can see the system. And as you can see from five days out, you're already in the rain, Jamaica. You're already in the rain heavy as of six hours, six to 12 hours from now. And then you're going to be in this rain all the way through this, this intensification from this storm, if Euro is correct, which many times it has not been wrong. And as you see the light blue, the intense velocity uh, forming up, gets the center of an eye, moves over to Caymans, and gets even stronger. Now, if we look at the 10 meter winds and see what the impacts will be of this, you see as it comes by and it goes by Jamaica, it goes by the Cayman Islands, it's already at 72 uh, kilometers per hour, and I believe that is 50 miles per hour. Let me check for you guys. Yes, 44 miles per hour so far for the Cayman Islands on that shot. And it gets strong to 78, then 92, then 98 towards towards Jamaica then it gets 107 that is kilometers I'll, I'll transfer it 107 123 137 153 you see it getting stronger top one is 193 kilometers per hour that is 119 miles per hour 
10 meter winds, guys. This is damage in winds, 119. Now you've seen the pressure millibars that I told you. And when you get to 119, that's a major hurricane cat three for sure. Now let me show you the wind gusts. Now as we come with the wind gusts with this storm, Cayman Islands, you get it pretty, pretty quick and early, but you're gonna stay in it the whole time. Hits the edge of Jamaica. You can see the colors on Jamaica. Uh, to just show you what that is right now, 206. That's 128 uh, miles per hour wind gust, Jamaica, hitting from your west side. Plus, you got storm surge, waves, flooding. As we go on to see the intensity, you can see it's all over the Cayman Islands, and our 240 shot is 272. And for 272, we get 169 miles per hour wind gust. That's catastrophic. Now, for my Cuba shot, for what you can see as far, far as total precipitation, you got to see this rainfall. You can see it go over Jamaica. Jamaica, you're getting heavy rainfall. But the dark, the brightest spot is right here over the Cayman Islands. And you're talking about 1188 millimeters. That is 46 inches of rainfall for the Cayman Islands. That is almost four feet of rain. Now we checked the Korean model for the Gulf of Mexico since the Korean model showed that it had a lot of velocity potential. It showed the curve just like the Euro showed. So when I put it to the five days, you see it's kind of weak. It's like a tropical storm as it passes by Jamaica, Cayman Islands, goes on Cuba, starts becoming a hurricane over Cuba, comes back over the Cayman Islands, a hurricane. And then it starts intensifying as it goes in the Gulf, and then it makes that eastward push towards Florida at a 953 millibar. Now here's a, the GFS, the parallel. This is the one I showed you that had the double hit. This is a view from the east coast. As you see, it comes in a tropical storm for everybody, but then there's some kind of Fujiwara effect going right there and it's swinging around. So that, if that shows true, we really would have to watch that thing because it could go anywhere on a, on a Fuji War. It, it could literally let go and shoot out like a slingshot. Now here's a, a shot of the whole upper look so you can see everything on the East Coast. That's like a Fuji War, you, and then that's it. Goes on up. I'm really curious about that one. I don't know what's going to come out of that one. Now God bless every single one of you that is involved in this. Please, I, I pray that you'll be safe. This is going to be a big event. Believe me, it's not over yet. It's just getting started. So please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Hit that button. I do this every day. I love every single body. I try and be as godly as I can. And y'all are my brothers and sisters. So I do want to pray for you today. Psalm 82. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judges, judges among the gods. How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? So ah. Defend the poor and, and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High, but ye shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou, for thou shalt inherit all nations. Amen. Oh, and by the way, to, <laughs> if, you, if anybody's wondering what happened, because I, normally I shave and I look different, ever since I've been reading the Bible, and you know how God knows every hair in your head, it irritated me. It irritated me that I kept getting a haircut. How how this evil world that wants you to go chase this money and get a job wants you to cut your hair first thing to look good at a job. So I decided to believe in God and let my hair grow for whatever he wants me to be and what I look like in his image, what's pleasant to him. And what I've noticed is the longer I grow my facial hair, the more uh, the more calmer I get. I have a little bit more patience. My wife also told me this, so... Even though she'd rather me shave, <laughs> she loves the way I am 
when I let it grow. I'm a little more milder. I'm a little more excited when I don't. So God bless all of you today. I do appreciate y'all for checking out the update. Hope y'all hit the like on the video. Hope you share the information with others. And most of all, all glory goes to God. Amen.